What we're going to start off with is we're going to um, blanch some asparagus. We've got a, a pound of asparagus, and we're going to blanch that in boiling hot water for about a minute and a half. And then we're going to put that in ice water, and it will shock it so that it retains its deep green color and will stay crisp and not continue to cook. Takes a minute and a half for the asparagus to cook. And that's about right, right there. And what that leaves is, is asparagus that is crisply tender and nice dark green. This is wild Alaskan king salmon. Um, it's fresh. We bought this from a, a market in Sacramento called Ben's Grill and Fish Market. They have their fish flown in daily. What we're going to do to get this prepared is we're going to put a little bit of olive oil on it. And we're going to brush that on, on both sides. And this is just under two pounds of fish. The, the recipe is for a two pound, one and a half to two pound filet. And this is just under two pounds. I had the butcher go ahead and skin this, so there's no skin on it. And we're gonna be using a Cajun seasoning blackening seasoning called Cajun's Choice and it's good on fish, it's good on chicken and it's good on ribs. Okay and we're gonna let that sit like that until we're ready to put it on the grill and that'll be in about 10 minutes. So now we're going to do the leeks. First thing we're going to do is add three tablespoons of butter. And let that melt. I'm going to go ahead and put the leeks in there now. And let them be getting soft. And what we don't want to do is we don't want these to caramelize but we want them nice, soft, and tender. Okay, these are about done. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to add our thyme, some salt and pepper, and it's only um, just a little bit of salt, quarter teaspoon or so some fresh ground pepper. And our mushrooms. And now we're going to add about a quarter cup of dry white wine. That's going to sit in there and these things are going to stew in the hot skillet. And the recipe calls for taking some tin foil and uh, about a 12 by 17 inch piece. You want it big enough to hold the whole filet. And rather than put the salmon directly on the grill itself, we're gonna, it's gonna, this is going to serve as its, its, um, its surface, its cooking surface. And we're going to put some holes in this so that the fat and some of the juices can drain off. And what we have to do with that is we have to oil that. Now remember, we've already oiled our fish, so it's... Um, likely not going to stick, but just to be sure, we're going to go ahead and put a light coat of oil on this tin foil.
We're going to put it not directly over the coals, but off to the side here. And we're going to cover that. And that should be ready in anywhere from 8 to 10 minutes. Okay, we've got our salmon off, off the grill. Now we're going to finish our sauce. And all we need, need to do to finish the sauce is add the cream and warm it back up. And the, the, well, the cream and the, the asparagus. So we're going to go ahead and add the cream now. asparagus to the pan and all we want to do is bring this to a boil or just warm it through. I mean if we get it to a boil that's fine. We want it to, to be thick. We don't want a real runny sauce and we don't want to burn the milk, the cream either. So it's important to watch the heat. 